I wanted to show you how you can print vases out of ordinary 3D objects by changing some settings in Matter Control. I'm going to start by making sure that I have my printer selected in Matter Control. I don't have any printers connected right now, but that's okay. I just need to select my printer so that it loads the settings. Then I'm going to add my STL file that I want to print. This is a simple prism from Tinkercad that has been twisted to create an interesting texture along the side. One quick note here, it's much easier to print a vase that has a flat top. Now go into Settings and Controls. Under the Settings tab, make sure that the Advanced option is selected so that you have access to all of the slicer settings. Go to Layers and Surface and change Top Solid Layers to zero and click Save. Under Infill, change the Fill Density to 0 and click Save. Switch to Layer View on the Preview window and click Generate. Make sure 3D View is selected and you can rotate the object a little bit. In Layer View, it will show you each layer of your print as if the printer was printing it. Then slide the slider on the right-hand side up. It will show us each layer as it would be printed. If I slide the slider all the way to the top, it will show us the finished print. If I rotate the print, you can see that it has a hollow top and a hollow center, which is perfect for a vase. When you're done with your vase, you need to change your settings back. I change my infill density back to 0.1 or 0.15 and then go to layers and surface and change the top solid layers to be 5. I can see the changes by clicking generate in the layer view again and sliding the layer slider to the top. There is now a solid top on my object. It's no longer a vase. There are two view options in the preview window. One is 3D view and one is layer view. In the 3D view, it's always going to show you your STL. You have to go into the layer view to see the resulting print with your current slicer settings. One more quick tip. In Matter Control, you can create presets for a vase. In the quality area, click the drop down and then click add. I'm going to set the name to vase and then I can set my slicer settings below. I'm going to select General, then Layers and Surface, and then Top Solid Layers, and set the value to zero. I'm going to add another one and select General, Infill, and Fill Density, and set the value to zero. Now save your preset. I'm going to create another preset for normal settings so that I can get back to my original settings quickly. Click Add and then name it Normal. I'm going to select General, then Layers and Surface, and then Top Solid Layers and set the value to 5. I'm also going to add another one and select General, Infill, Fill Density, and set the value to 0.1. I can close this window and use the drop downs to set the slicer settings for me. Presets are an easy way to quickly switch between slicer settings for different results. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you found this useful.